Hey guys, we just received something really big from DJI that we've been super excited about. So we're gonna have to get some help to wheel it in. The DJI Flycart 30. One, two, three. Woo! Wow. Holy, Holy cow. Look at these arms. Yeah. A little heavy. Definitely a two person operation there. So these stick oh, together. Oh, okay. Yeah. How do you lock it? You push, push push all the way through. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, very. It's a nice solid click. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely a two person job with this yeah, drone. Yeah, minimum. <laughs> so. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, it comes, <laughs> with, <laughs> comes with more stuff. What's in here? Oh, it's oh, uh, RC Plus. The controller. Oh, okay, the remote some, controller. Some cables. That's cool. Just That's looks cool. like standard RC plus. What is all of these cables? I guess oh. just international charging adapters maybe. Oh, there's so many of them. So there's a, in here there's a single battery mode kind of adapter that fits on top of the batteries, I guess, to keep it waterproof, so. You know, the free cases that DJI make is always so nice. What do you guys think? This, the storage in here is like, Oh yeah, you can fit a lot of stuff in <laughs> it's there. It's like slightly bigger than a small microwave. I would say that's like a big microwave. You think so? It's a big microwave. Uh, what can we fit in there? You can probably fit a small microwave in there. <laughs> this is the Matrice 3D. You can put a drone within a drone. So that fits. You can uh, put a broken M350 in here. It's like mother and child. There's also this Target. I'm not sure if it's used for calibration or maybe when you're doing a drop or something. Yeah, maybe when you're doing payload drops. Payload drops? I mean, it's pretty flimsy. It's going to fly away, so that's interesting. We'll have to look more into this, what it does. Why don't we take a look at the batteries? Operating te temperature negative 20 to 45 degrees. Uh, it's rated for 1500 cycles, so uh, much more than other DJI batteries. Well, I hope so, because it's pretty expensive for these batteries, right? Yeah, yeah. these batteries are pretty, pretty expensive. Uh, IP54 weather resistance, yeah, definitely a big battery. We got 11 kilograms for this guy. 11 kilograms for the batteries. So from my understanding, the fly cart, you're able to use it in either the single or the dual battery mode, Yeah. right? So. I guess with one battery configuration, you can lift more weight, but less flight time. Whereas you can do two batteries carrying less weight, but longer range from my understanding, right? Right. We're just looking at the headlights here. It's a nice little navigational feature. If you're ever navigating in the dark. There's a little camera here. Yep, you got the FPV camera on there. This is the radar for obstacle avoidance and detection. Uh, looks like you've got dual RTK uh, antennas in the back here. There's two CCM radars, one in the front there oh. and one in the back here. So in terms of what is attached to it right now, so this is like the standard delivery box. It looks like it's attached with like... It's a cable system. Some kind of, yeah. I think uh, you're able to remove that. Cable. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You can definitely remove this because with the fly cart, there's, uh, there's the winch system that you can get with it. With the winch, you actually have to get different landing gear. Uh, you have to take this off and oh. Um, oh, really? attach the winch, yep. Uh, does, that, just that, does that come with the winch or you have to buy oh, it? Oh, it comes with the winch. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's like comes yeah. as a kit. It's crazy to see how large this is. I don't know if the yeah. camera is gonna get it to scale. <laughs> I've never like, seen a drone. I had an idea in my mind, but then when you see it in person, you're just like, wow. It's much bigger in person. I mean, the propellers are bigger than my arm almost. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Around the motors, it looks like there's some kind of like foam material around there. It's interesting. Well, not, not around the motors, but around the, uh, the ESC. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. It's like a, a bumper in case you hit something, but <laughs> if you hit something with this, you're gonna, you're gonna tear it apart. <laughs> the build quality on this is actually surprisingly like good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, of course, it's DJI. I, man. I would say, yeah, it's pretty comparable to other DJI drones. Yeah. That's what you would expect. It's solid. So who do you guys think this is for? Who needs a drone this big? Based on what I've seen online so far on, like, on social media, I've seen it being used to lift solar panels in, uh, in, in China. I mean, it seems to me that this drone is really built for delivering. I mean, yeah. with the winch, you get the delivery box. Yeah. Uh, that tells me, you know, we're gonna be delivering stuff with it. Uh, I guess 
people can be creative with what they're moving around, you know, whether it's solar panels, uh, supplies, whatever, but I think that's really what this system was built for. Yeah, I mean, think about it as like a, a, a crane, right? Like a, yeah. a, a, <laughs> a portable crane. I mean, something to kind of consider too, um, there are payloads out there on the market that hasn't been miniaturized yet to that two, three, five kilogram. Like any payloads, like let's say super heavy airborne magnetometers can now fit on this solution, right? Yeah. No longer would you need a helicopter to lift those more proprietary solutions that had to be lifted by helicopters. So yeah, that's a quick overview for you guys on the Flycart 30. We have it here at Candrone. Uh, in the next video, we'll take it out to the field and do some testing with it. Uh, maybe lift uh, some stuff and use the winch system. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. And if you're interested in a Flycart, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help you out with the unit.